Spoilers and fandom is like a book club for geeky stuff. Join us as we delve into the depths of our backlogs and sift through the games, comics, shows, movies, and books that we haven't checked out yet. Hey everyone, welcome to the next episode of Spoilers and Fandom. <laughs> uh, uh, today we're going to talk about I Love Dogs, which was the movie that we watched that you picked. Yeah. Why'd you pick it? Um, I like Wes Anderson movies, generally, uh-huh. and this was one of... It, this was one of his most recent ones that I haven't seen. Yeah. Because it came out last year. Oh, yeah. that recent. Yeah. Huh. But I just didn't have... I, I, you know now here the problem is... I, do, I, did, I didn't see it like it came big screen. It didn't? It didn't come big screen. Yeah, so I wasn't <laughs> hallucinating. Yeah. But I wish it I wish it did. I wish more of these this movies This was. This is a very... Uh, Oscar... Type of movie, <laughs> I thought. <laughs> For real? Um, yeah. It was really well done. Uh, but we'll we'll get into that, I guess. Yeah. I have heard of this movie as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, just for the animation style, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, but I I didn't know anything else about it. Yeah, like for me, I was just I was literally gonna watch it because of who was involved in this movie. Yeah. I didn't really care about what the story was. It just felt like it was fun enough to watch because of the people involved in it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, let's talk so, about the the plot, right? Yeah. Because uh, it's a pretty, I guess, a simple premise. Yeah, yeah. In terms of a plot. Like, yeah. um, it's set in Japan. Yeah. And the story is... This mayor of the city or constituency or province or whatever, mm-hmm. he decides to exile all the dogs yeah. to a remote island because he believes that they are evil. Yeah. Uh, and they're also and, sick. And, and they spread disease and, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And so he does that. He sends all the dogs to this island called Trash Island. And uh, the story is there's this uh, kid called Atari, who goes to the island to look for his dog that was sent there. Yeah. And that is that is the basic plot. Yeah. Uh, what's interesting, though, is all the humans in this movie speak Japanese, and Except all the dogs... Except like two translators. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and the reporter, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah Like, yeah. all the Japanese people in this movie speak Japanese. Yeah. So and... it's subtitled for that. Yeah. Yeah. Is and it? Then the was dogs, it subtitled? Yeah, it had like a few subtitles. Oh, okay. Yeah, not not fully subtitled, but yeah. it had a few. And all the dogs speak English. Yeah. So it's it's a very cool watch in that sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I I really liked the plot actually. <laughs> um, and there's a lot of uh, subliminal stuff, like even in the title itself, it's mm-hmm. called "I Love Dogs." Yeah. But it's also called "I Love Dogs." Yeah. So, it's, 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 uh, <laughs> if you love dogs, hey. Yeah, you like, you like this movie. You'll probably like this, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a stop motion animation. Yeah, it's, yeah. and it doesn't feel, you said stop motion. Yeah. Uh, but it's not got that jarring yeah, effect the jarring that effect stop motion though. normally has. Yeah. So, like, at least the frame rate's, like, super good. Yeah. Uh, I guess. I mean, frame rate, I guess, yeah. What would you call it? Yeah, frame rate. Yeah, yes. it looks very. It's like, well animated, really well yeah, animated, yeah, and very unique. Yeah. Um, like if South Park was super well drawn and well animated, it would look like yeah, this. but yeah. it's got that flat kind of vibe, yeah. like you're looking at paper, yeah. Um, and it's really, really, yeah, it's very unique. Yeah. Um, that's not all that's unique. Like the the score was also really the score is <laughs> really awesome. good. Yeah, and I think what did it for me was the comedy. Yeah, because a lot of it was just okay. Most like you know like ninety percent of the voice actors in this thing. Yeah, because they're big they're big name actors. Yeah, but and because of that, it gets really funny. Yeah, the way these guys riff off of one another, even just the way this this the little characterizations that they've given the dogs. Yeah, which makes them. A, a lot more memorable than say any other movie that does dog stuff. Yeah, yeah. So it's just it's really interesting and it's really funny. I found it really funny. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is quite funny. Would you call it a comedy though? Yeah. I mean, it is. 
Yeah. Um, this is a weird, like, there are a few, like, dark undertones, I guess. Well, yes. Which we'll talk about maybe in the spoiler section, but, yeah. um, like, you could watch this with your kids very easily. Yeah. And they'll, they'll and understand it on on one level. Yeah. You'll understand then there's it the, on your own level. Yeah. Yeah. On both. Yeah. Yeah. It but is, it is, a, it, yeah. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it's, it's a, it's a story of a boy and his dog. It's that whole, it's, it's yeah. that whole story of... A kid and a pet and the love that they have for one another. Or yeah. it's even the story of uh, coming to terms with everyone else. Like if you look at it as, like let's say, if it, like you could look at it as the boy is the main character. Yeah. Or you could look at it as Chief is the main character. Oh, yeah. As well. Yeah. So there's his story as well. Yeah, story of character growth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got character development that happens. Yeah. It's uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward character development, <laughs> I guess. It's not like you know little inclinations, but it's. Uh, I mean, I enjoyed it. It is, it is a good movie. Yeah, and just like maybe just to name drop for guys, uh, Chief, who is the main character of the dogs. Mm-hmm. is voiced by Brian Cranston. Walter White. Yeah. One of the other dogs is voiced by Edward Norton. Another one is Bill Murray. Another one is Jeff Goldblum. The Scarlett Johansson is the, one of them. Yeah, Scarlett Johansson is one of them. Harvey Keitel. Yoko Ono is actually in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> Tilda Swinton, Ken Watanabe. So there's, there's, there's quite a good cast. Yeah. And they're all recognizable. Like... You know all these guys were in the movie. Even yeah. the Japanese actors who were in this are also pretty big there anyway. If if you if you're familiar with Japanese cinema, you'll re- you'll recognize some of these guys. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um who would you say? Well, who would you say was your favorite character? My favorite character. Yeah. Uh I want to say Chief yeah, I but, want to see Chief. But you will say. But I'll also say the the. the I heard a rumor. <laughs> I heard a rumor again. Because <laughs> because that 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 subplot. Yeah. <laughs> was really just was really very interesting for me. Yeah. Because I could have watched a whole movie of just the dogs figuring stuff out. Yeah. If they, if they cut out all the humans, I'd have really enjoyed a story of how all these dogs now came to be friends. Yeah. On the island. They, they're really good characters. Yeah. And I, they're acted really well. And like you said, like the little subtleties that dogs have, even with like this kind of animation. Is, yeah, like when the dogs turn, amazing. like if you, yeah, if you if you're familiar with dogs, if you if yeah if you're familiar with dogs, yeah. there's little character ticks that the, even the, they've animated into the dog, so it feels very realistic. Yeah, like when the dogs turn and look at something, the ears prick up in the right direction, the tails wag and stop. Like they do specific, very specific dog things. Yeah. Yeah, even the little attention things that the dog would be listening to you and then it'd be like, oh, tick. Then it, it bites off a tick from someone and yeah. then it continues saying what they're saying. Yeah. So small stuff like that. They they really did their job. And I really liked the fighting. Ah, the fighting <laughs> animation was awesome, yeah. The fighting animation was funny as well. Yeah. Because you know, you know that image in like a comic book or in cartoons? Yeah. Like in old like Warner Brothers cartoons when there's like that huge fight like in Tasmania. Yeah, with smoke. And... Yeah, so you just find smoke and just arms and legs yeah. and heads popping out. Yeah. That's how they do it. But in this one, it, you'll see the dogs and their bodies in, around cotton wool or something. Yeah. Yeah, so it looks very, very... When you see it the first time, you'll, it's very, very funny. Yeah. Yeah. Even the explosions and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even the explosion. Yeah. So yeah. So overall, the plot of the story is this kid, Akira. Is it? No, Atari. Atari. Atari comes onto now Trash Island to yeah. look for his, his dog. Yeah. And then now, uh, from then on, these dogs now take it upon themselves. To help. Yeah, to, to help, help the him boy. Go. Because the boy is the first person who's actually come. To the island. To uh, the island. The first human on the island who's come to look for yeah. his, so, his yeah. dog. So they form this kind of. Bond. Bond with him. Ish, yeah. Yeah, this bondish with him. But then of the dogs that are around, of the dogs that help him, the five dogs that help him, there's, there's Rex, there's King, there's Boss, and there's Duke, and then there's and Chief. Chief. Now, all these other dogs except Chief were domesticated. Yeah. Yeah. And Chief is a Chief straight is dog. Chief is a straight. Yeah. So there's that 
weird. There's that change in dynamic between them. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, all of them try and help the boy now in his journey through Trash Island to find now his 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 pet who was sports. Mm-hmm. Now since this kid was kind of a big deal back Yeah, uh, in... don't spoil it. Don't okay. go into that. Okay, let's not go into oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll save that. But yeah, it was it's a good story. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good story. Solid. Yeah. Um if there is one thing like what what would you I can't think of a bad thing to say about this movie. <laughs> A bad thing. If yeah. I had a criticism for the movie. Yeah. Uh, what could it have done better? What could it have done better? It, the, the Japanese segment. Yeah. If it subtitled more. Because you know now, like, we don't understand the language. Yeah. So, I wish it subtitled more of it. Yeah. At least made, put, put in a bit more comedy into those, those, those bits. Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, it's pretty much solid pretty much bulletproof mm. like I enjoyed like I really enjoyed it even without even without the subtitles for everything yeah it still makes sense mm. overall like it's it's a it's a timeless story I want to say it like that yeah, yeah like the plot is very straightforward yeah like um, I guess there's no real like the criticism for me would be mm-hmm. there's no real uh, like it's it's fairly predictable yeah, the yeah. plot yeah. And maybe that would be my criticism. Yeah. Um, but it's not bad. It's it's a charming movie. You can do predictable plots really well. Yeah. This is one way of uh, doing predictable plots anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that's all we can say without, without spoiling without, yeah, it. Without I, spoiling I, I mean, it. that's a little short, but yeah. yeah. Uh, how would you rate this? I'm going to give it an 8. I really enjoy it. Yeah, me too. What? Ha-ha. What? First time we agree. What? Yeah. No, you <laughs> should definitely watch this. Uh, it it's definitely worth watching, in yeah. my opinion. Uh, like if you are one of those people who is losing faith in Hollywood, <laughs> like I am at the moment, <laughs> uh, this this is quite a charming movie, and it just it just demonstrates like you just take a simple plot and you can just make such a good movie with just such a basic plot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And also the animation is amazing and the music is amazing. If yeah, for guys now who who are fans of Wes Anderson, yeah. The the guy who did the music in this is the same guy who did the music in what's it called? In Fantastic Mr. Fox. Yeah. He's a French composer called Alex Alexander Desplat or Despla. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm savaging his name, I'm sorry. But his music is as good as the movie. Yeah, it's yeah. it's really like all the scenes had like the mu- the the music really carried the scenes forward, yeah. which is what a good score is supposed to do, not uh not overpower it or, or just stay too far behind in the in the background. Yeah, not yeah. oh, there's a happy scene, so let's play club music or yeah. Aquaman or oh. <laughs> anyway, no, but this was a good score and it's we say French composer, but it's it sounds very Japanese yeah, music. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, kung fu stuff, but also, like at the dramatic moments, they still use those instruments. Yeah. Like you'll hear the a drum drums. going boom, boom, like you know, yeah. <laughs> at a dramatic point for for effect. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's done really well. Um, I'd say it's one of the best soundtracks I've heard in a while. Yeah. Um, but but yeah. There's, there's been what's it called? There's been a few criticisms of the movie, like in the usual reviews mm-hmm. media universe. Yeah, where they they were complaining about not the portrayal of Japanese culture in this, that to them it felt a little stereotypical. Okay, like is it stereotypically Japanese or is it Japanese enough? What what was stereotypical? That I spoke Japanese. I mean, is that a stereotype that Japanese people speak Japanese? That's the thing now. I don't understand. Um, I, don't I guess know what Japanese mean. media, maybe? Or like... Because there, there's a lot of propaganda and nonsense in, yeah. in the stuff. Yeah. Which you could say is, is typical of any government who uses propaganda. You could say it's... Like any time at any point where propaganda was used, yeah, it's shown in this movie, 
in the same way as, like, for example, the propaganda that was used in Nazi Germany is pretty much. was pretty similar to what was being shown here. Yeah, and it's uh, and but, it's a pretty standard. Yeah, yeah. And it's just propaganda is propaganda. Yeah. I don't I don't know about that criticism. Yeah, uh, and then no. Also, another thing is that Japanese whole like cultural tourism thing, like everything that you could think of about Japan. Mm-hmm. Like if 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 somebody gives you flashcards and tells you think tell me ten things about Japan right now. I think anime. Mm-hmm. I think Akihabara. Mm-hmm. I think uh, sushi. Mm-hmm. I think samurai. Mm-hmm. I think cherry blossoms. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, five things. Those are five things. Yeah. yeah, and all those five things will show up in this movie. Like, if you free associate stuff, like the dramas, yeah. sumo, haikus, oh, yeah, there sumo. that kind of stuff. Oh. Even the reliance on the way you said the explosions, yeah. and like mushroom clouds. The whole imagery of it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that's that's one thing that guys were... I don't know whether they were complaining about or they mentioned it. You know, you never know with the internet these days. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know how you don't know whether it's an actual criticism or whether it's just someone making noise. But it's, it's not like noise, to yeah. be honest. Like they they were all like they're just setting like the, the samurai thing yeah. happens within the first few seconds of yeah. the movie where they said that. Uh, okay, I can't go into spoilers. That's, that's but, yeah, but but, anyway. but it it just shows up as a thing and it's like comedic in a sense, yeah. but. They're also telling the story. For yeah. me, I took it. And that's I, I don't, don't, co- I don't it consider it, I don't consider that much of a criticism because yeah. they're literally setting the stage for you. They're telling you this is where you are. Yeah. This is one interpretation of it. Yeah. You just get this is world building. You're here now. Yeah. Ignore everything else. This is what this world is. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I find I find some I, sometimes I find those criticisms a bit baseless. Yeah. Find them also pretty weak, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That that does feel weak, yeah. Yeah. So don't 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 expect that. Don't think that it's being taken out of don't, don't like expect it's not thing. ham-fisted. It's not ham-fisted, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. It's it's pretty much world building for the story. Yeah. Yeah. Don't like, take it in a bad way. The time you see sushi yeah. in this movie, it's used very specifically. Yeah. For a plot. For a specific plot. Plot point, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's not the only food. Like, we do see other food as well. Yeah. It's just... Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So, for so, us... That, so, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Watch it. <laughs> definite, definite yeah. watch it. Now, yeah. if you have watched this movie with us, mm-hmm. uh, we're going to talk about spoilers. If you haven't watched this movie, and you're going to, you should... Uh, maybe stop listening now, because we're about to talk about the spoilers for this movie. Yeah. God, I forgot to put the sound uh, stamps, the, the, the time, time stamps stamp. okay. in the last one. I just remembered now. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see whether we can edit it. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll edit it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah. I'll do it for this. <laughs> um, but yeah, spoilers. So, uh, the, the plot, with mm-hmm. the plot... Mm-hmm. The reason these guys are doing this stuff for for dogs is actually because they have a history of dogs screwing them over at one point Mm -hmm. when dogs are samurai (laughs) in the history of humanity. Dogs screwed this family over. And so that mayor is a descendant of that family, family, which is why he hates dogs. And they're cat people. Yeah. Um, Yeah, that's... That's kind of the which I kind of liked. Like it's kind of funny, but it's, like it's I guess such the, a simple thing. But the under underlying, I guess, uh, thing is just xenophobia. Yeah. Because your people did this to my people. Yeah. I will do this to you. Yeah. So and so are not to be trusted because they are that people. And and basically the whole movie is just propaganda against dogs. Yeah. And, and don't uh, believe, basically don't believe the hype. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, like, making deals, it's basically corruption. Like, I mean, we're familiar with corruption, <laughs> so <laughs> this is this is quite easy to recognize, I guess. 
if you are local. By the way, most of our most of our listeners are in the states. For real? Yeah, according to anchor stats, <laughs> most of our listeners are in the states. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I, realize. We, yeah, we didn't like expect sixty percent. Okay, like something nice. like that. Yeah. Um, so hello, Americans. So <laughs> hi, America. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. No. But so so all all this stuff is uh, is very very typical of corrupt government. Yeah. Which which is easy to see, and yeah. it's got lots of propaganda. For if you've studied history in high school, you probably looked at propaganda being used for warfare and yeah. and blah blah blah. And even just how to control. Yeah. The population through yeah misinformation yeah yeah and there's a lot of that yeah. um like uh, what are there any what, what 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 was your favorite part in the plot my favorite part in the plot was honestly the journey the journey north the journey yeah. up through the middle fingers yeah <laughs> Through the yeah. yeah, through the middle fingers. That whole journey, seeing seeing these guys, seeing the dogs yeah. learn about themselves, yeah, and the boy learn about the dogs and them. That that whole interplay between now Chief and Atari. Yeah, I liked that. I wished I would have seen more of that. Yeah, and because we knew we knew how it was gonna end up. You, it's yeah. the, the the ending is telegraphed from way way early on. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah. For me, that was the whole the journey, the journey through. Now, yeah. Suburlands, and they figure out that they can't smell the, the the robotic dogs in this thing. And there's a there's a key plot point where he notices that he can't smell them. Yeah. Yeah. So you know now that becomes a that becomes an issue. Yeah. Yeah. When they show up. Um. For me, mm-hmm. the best plot point was like they build up. So they're going off to see the Oracle and Jupiter at one point, and the reveal of how Jupiter can tell the future, and is like a seer and stuff is hilarious. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> it was that was that was that, that, was, that, was, a, that was a funny way of of, of showing an Oracle, yeah, sure, no. a dog Oracle. What would it be? <laughs> And you know the the funniest thing for me was you can see dogs like that. Yeah. And chances are that if they did have like their wooden, what's it called, civilizations, yeah. they would talk. To, they would be. Yeah, dogs have. Yeah. The, the, their society would be pretty <laughs> dope, actually. Um, and oh, sorry. Yeah. But yeah, no more than that story. More yeah. than more than the 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 chief and Atari story. Yeah. It was the whole. I heard a rumor. Yeah. Like, that was the best part of the movie for me. Okay. Yeah. Because every time, like, there's a, there's a plot point where the, the, the dogs, there's one of the dogs that keeps telling them about rumors. Yeah. And you, he doesn't meet anyone outside of this circle of dogs. Yeah. So you wonder where he gets these rumors from. And they always end up being true. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really, really random shit that the dog will just yeah. come up with. I heard a and rumor. It, yeah, <laughs> I heard a rumor that X, Y, Z, and then... They now hash it out. They talk about it, and then they're like, "Okay, fine." Yeah. Then a, a different rumor. The next time they meet, a different rumor. Yeah. So I found that really, really funny. Yeah. Yeah. They even ask, like, "How do how do you know all this stuff?" <laughs> and it's like, oh, I just, you, you, you're I just there. I just hear. Yeah, we just know these things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, th- um, there's also for me my okay for me the funniest moment. Uh-huh. Was at the start, uh-huh. uh, when the food gets dropped on the island and the dogs are there. <laughs> and they're like, listen, before we try and kill each other over the sack of food, let's, let's, let's see, see what, what what's in it to see if it's worth fighting over. <laughs> and they go through the contents. And <laughs> yeah, so it's literal trash. So it's like a happy But like, apple. it's such like um, organized, it's almost like organized chaos <laughs> is the way the dogs are working. <laughs> like, let's think about this. Yes, it's worth it. It's worth bam. it. And bam, they go straight into a fight. That yeah. was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and like the comedy is, the comedic timing in yeah. the movie, like we'll just say, is really, really good. Yeah. It's not, uh, it's not like slapstick comedy. It's not, uh, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's kind of smart comedy. Yeah. In, in a way. Like it's not 
like funny accent co- like it's not lowbrow yeah, I wouldn't call low it lowbrow brow. it's just like straight it's just ordinary com- comedy I yeah. guess yeah? yeah or or funny situations yeah um, it's more yeah it's more of a situation on comedy like yeah comedy. yeah um yeah uh I think my favorite character was uh, man, who would my favorite character <laughs> be? Atari? No. Um. Yeah, my favorite character is probably uh the Oracle. Yeah. <laughs> she hardly did it. Or or Jupiter. Really, they're a duo. You can't have one without the other. Or or Chief. I did like Chief. Yeah. I bite. Yeah. Yeah. I'm stray. But um, I'm a stray. I'm a stray. I bite. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but more like this is like the love story in this is is really well done as well. Yeah. Uh, between his character and Scarlett Johansson, and it's like a love story that's done right. They didn't go too ham fisted and and like really shove it down your throat, which I really like. Yeah. Because it didn't take away from the story. Yeah, it didn't. Too. And if anything, it added a few jokes as well with the comedy. You'll have to imagine it. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. That was pretty funny. <laughs> and the second, how about the second love story? The one for the Atari and... Atari and the reporter. Uh, that, was, that was okay. Yeah. yeah. It felt a bit tacked on, but it's okay. Yeah, it was okay. Yeah. Um, My favorite character is Duke. The, I had the rumor guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's he he him and okay, for me it's him and Chief. Yeah. Yeah, him and Chief. Chief was a cool character. A spot yeah. Spots was just Spots was a little bit of uh let down yeah. in the end. But he showed up literally to save them. Yeah. And to quit the story. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he came in at a point he'll he'll come in like as a legit do sex machina. Yeah. Save them and whatever. Yeah. They move on with the, they move on with the story. <laughs> But he does get puppies, which is kind of cool. And I don't know yeah. why. Is it? I don't know if it's just me. And he left for his own life. Like, yeah. he, he found his own life and way forward. Yeah. But is it just me, or did the puppies look like Falco from Never Ending Story? I thought that. I didn't think that. I don't have... Like, I watched Never Ending Story as a very young kid, so I can just remember a fluffy thing flying through the air. Yeah. So to me, I don't know. They looked kind of like that. Falco always looks like a, a sheep for some reason in my head. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I yeah. was I look as when I when I saw the the whatever was when I saw the 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 puppies for the first time. That's yeah. that's what came to mind. Yeah, yeah, uh. yeah. Nothing, but it's cool. Watch it. Yeah, it's good to watch with kids. Yeah, yeah. Cat people might not enjoy the movie, but yeah, it Street paints them people. in a it's, it paints them in a bad light. <laughs> Does it though? I, you know what I thought actually. You thought that the cats. Are I thought the cats had were the ones in control of these guys. They're the ones that had brainwashed the, the people to 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 whatever to exile all the dogs. It was just our family though. Yeah, but I I don't know. On some level, I kind of wished that the cats had their own society. Yeah, yeah. The dogs have their own. The dogs sure have cats. their own. I hoped. I was wishing. I was wishing maybe that would have been the the, the grand maybe reveal at I lo- the end. I love dogs too. <laughs> we hope. One, we can only hope. But I doubt these guys will do a sequel. I doubt it. I don't. Know. I love dogs too. I hate cats. <laughs> <laughs> I hate cats. I hate. Yeah. I hate. <laughs> I hurt cats. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Anyway, so watch this movie. I I mean, is there more spoilers? No, no not really. No, 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 no. I guess that's this one is a pretty straightforward. Movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so definitely watch this. Eight out of ten. We both agree for once. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, like pretty on the nose with our ratings. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's definitely worth watching. Just watch it. Yeah. It's not too long as well. It's a cool, yeah. It's a cool. Yeah, it's, it's a very easy watch yeah, as well. It's a very easy watch. Yeah. yeah. Um, next time we're doing a game. Yeah. And the game that I have chosen is called uh, State of Mind. Mm-hmm. 
It is a cyberpunk game. It has the voice actor for Geralt of Rivia. Uh-huh. That is about all I know. First person shooter. Fan it is. Uh, it's by Daedalic. So they're guys who do a lot of point and click adventures. Uh-huh. So I'm. I'm going to assume it's going to be like a telltale. Oh, sort of. Sort of uh, third person adventure kind of thing. Okay. But I, I'm told that the story, or what I've heard is the story is really good. Uh-huh. As far as cyberpunk goes. Okay. Um, so that's the one I've chosen. Yeah. Uh, but before we sign out. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're go- we told you guys that we'll be telling you what's in our backlogs. Yeah. So if you guys want to pick out something that you want us to get through a little faster, uh, you can let us know. And we'll put these images or or polls or whatever on social media you check our twitter check our instagram yeah and uh let us know what you want us to cover first and we're gonna be looking at hillary's picks for comics first so he's picked three yeah so right now i'll put i'll put them up also yeah as we said on social media Mm -hmm. so we have a list of three comics that i have on my backlog that i was gonna consider for this Mm -hmm. one is called survivors club Mm-hmm. It's a Vertigo Comics story. It's about like it's about it's set in like the eighties. What happened to like kids in the eighties? Imagine if like the kids from it what what happened to them after that. Yeah, so the actual the actual oh, blurb about it. Wow. Yeah. The actual blurb about it is one was possessed by a poltergeist, another was trapped in a haunted house, the third had a killer doll. Ever wonder what happened to those kids of the 1980s? Oh, the survivors of the slasher movies and stuff. Yeah. So these kids found each other over the internet. And now they're grown up and they're drawn together by the horrors they experienced in 1987. And a rash of occult events occurred around the world with fatal results. Now there are indications that it's going to happen all over again. And it's possible that these six aren't just survivors, but were chosen for their feats. So that's one. That's a cool concept. Yeah, that's a cool concept. Yeah. Who's Second, the writer? Um, the writer is Lauren Books. Okay, not heard of Lauren Books. We oh, have, I think we have, because she's the one who wrote The Shining Girls. Yes, mm. it's about a time traveling serial killer. I know that story at least. Okay, I've yeah. not heard of it. So that's one. Okay. The second one is called Monsieur Jean or Monsieur Jean. It's a French comic. But it's the charming and humorous adventures of a handsome Parisian novelist as recounted with a uniquely European sensibility. So he's a young writer whose everyday life and inescapable existential woes are told in this story. Okay. Yeah. So whether it's an unexpected visit of a friend, trip to his in-laws, arrival of a child, any all of that stuff. It's just a slice of life of this French novelist. So the one, we'll read book one. It's relatively short. It's like 46 pages. But it's called Love and Concierge. And it's a digital comic. You can get it online. Then the last one is the first of the James Bond comics from, from Dynamite Comics. It's called James Bond Volume 1, Varga. V-A-R-G-R. So yeah. So Bond takes on like the case of a double O agent who was killed. And it's in Berlin. It's about a drug trafficking operation. I'm assuming it's a p- standard Bond story. But I wanted to check it out because they said that... Okay, this came out at about the same time as Spectre. So, I don't know. And I'm a big Bond fan. So that's mm. it. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, on our social media, when you see these posts, I think you'll do a poll on Twitter. I'll do a poll on Twitter. You'll I'll do... do a post on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, let us know which one you want us to cover. Yeah. If not, we'll pick for us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, till then, play State of Mind. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll catch you next time. Yeah. See you guys. Have fun. Do you have an opinion on what we just discussed? Did we miss something? Tell us in the comment section and we'll read it in the next episode. If you're listening on Anchor, send us a voice message and we'll add it to this episode. Don't forget to follow our podcast on Twitter, at SpoilFans, for updates. And follow our Instagram for behind-the-scenes action, at SpoilersAndFandom. 
Also, subscribe to us on YouTube and Anchor to get the latest episodes.